today, we're going to take a look at the configuration numbers used within VTP. So as you can see on your screen, we have four VTP switches, one of which is a server. They all have the VTP revision number of 216. Now, every time a VTP server updates the VLAN configuration, the VTP revision number increments. The server advertises these changes out to its neighbors. And now all switches are on the revision number of 217. So there is one simple rule that must be followed by all VTP switches. And that is that a VTP switch will never accept updates with a config revision that is older than its own. So now for an interesting question. Can a client switch configure a server switch? While it's true that admins can only make changes on the server switch, a client switch can, in some cases, update a server switch. And it all comes down to that rule we just discussed. Let's imagine that a server is offline for a while because it was faulty and it was being repaired. It's then introduced back into the network. This has a VTP revision number of 138. That's lower than the client numbers it's connected to. A client then passes a VTP message with a newer configuration revision number. The server will respect this as valid information and it will apply the config to match. So in this sense, yes, a client switch can actually configure a server switch. So I hope you enjoyed that little nugget of information and I really wanna see you in our next video.